Be grateful it's me you're fighting, and not my incompetent brother. I'll end this cleanly. That soldier is poised to let fly a massive salvo. The attack will cover a wide area. Be ready. Emblem Veronica, I will be borrowing your power to establish contracts with heroes.
Joey. Pain's gone! Hold on. You... You're me! Oh, I'm sorry. I know our faces are the same, but I'm sure you're much more accomplished. How servile. Are you an illusion? Projecting your weakness upon me won't make me falter. I will triumph, even against myself. You'll see. Wow. How cool! It's like you're me, yet so full of confidence. Wish I was like that, too. I'll be good. My good friend. I'm the worst.
Your instructions? You. Who are you, really? It's been bothering me for a while. Why have you assumed the form of the Divine Dragon? I haven't assumed this form. Would you believe me if I said I came from another world? So, you'll continue this farce, pretending to be the Divine One. How intriguingly brazen of you. Until I behead you and ascertain your true identity, you may go on entertaining. Our emblem has considerable power. Now is the time to yield, before it is too late. We could have been friends. Are we done here? Out of the way. Giri. I'm ready for more orders. I'll manage.
she wants fall. I can fight. Divine Dragon, will you return to us? I'm not who you think I am. Please, think of me as a stranger when we fight. I cannot fight you. I won't risk losing you again. It has been awful here since you died. I believed all along that the nation should stop squabbling and go back to the way we were. I beg you, please, guide us to unity once more. I'm sorry. Only the Divine Dragon of this world could have done that. But I can still take on the burden of stopping this conflict through the battle you wish to avoid. Forgive me for fighting you. I have it! <laughs> Did you see that? Fight me? I knew it. You never accepted me as king. I suspected you were plotting my assassination all along. Now's the time, is it? Assassination? You're my brother, Diamant. I respect and admire you. I would never. Then lay down your arms. I can't. You may be my big brother, but you're still the enemy. 
Wait, you're certain to misunderstand that. Hold on a minute, let me clarify. Oh, I'm sorry, my words are coming out right. I'm so pathetic. Come and face me. Been friends. <laughs> Even Mikey once fall. <laughs> I knew this would happen. We were all going to die anyway. We never should have tried. It is over. We withdraw. Diamond, no! We can't surrender! Not after they took our bracelet! We must get it back! Come on! Round two! You have a plan, then? An idea that will turn the tide? Please, share it. <laughs> now, Nil. We are removing ourselves from the game board. We won't interfere any longer. The bracelet is in your hands, as is Brodia's fate. Please, guide the world to peace. This is the bracelet of the Lonely Air, without a doubt. With this, we now have four bracelets. Emblem Veronica dwells within. She has the power to call upon soldiers from other worlds. But she is tainted by evil. The same as Firenay's emblem. We should assume they all will be. Am I with you now? Yes, Emblem Veronica. But we won't make you fight for us. You can rest for now. I see. I am grateful for the reprieve. But I am also a bit lonely. When I awaken, I hope you will be at my side. Even without a contract binding us together. Don't worry. You'll remain with us during our journey. And someday, we will see you again. I suppose that settles things here. I'm not used to fighting my own battles, let alone winning them. Yes. Fleeing comes more naturally to us all. The Divine Dragon excluded. There may be some truth to that. Each of us has run away from one thing or another. What do you mean? During the war a thousand years ago, when Sombron burned my village, I fled to Lethos. Other mage dragons possessed powerful magic, but mine has never been that strong. That's why Sombron couldn't find me, while my family and friends, all brilliant mages, perished. Ah. Sombron planned to force the mage dragons to fight for him, but we refused to submit. And now I'm the last of my kind. I used to live in Illusia as a follower of Sombron, but I couldn't act like the others. The fell dragon craved pain and blood, and his disciples were only happy to oblige. I just couldn't join their fervor, so I faked it. And when a priest found out, I had no choice but to run. Run, or give up my life to the fell dragon. I welcomed Gregory into Lethos. He selflessly rushed to my aid in a vicious battle in Illusia. You say it like I'm some kind of hero. You were surrounded by the corrupted, so I went to help. And I, as you know, am a failure. I am only alive because Nell and I fled from Sombron together. I have said it before, and I will say it again. You are not a failure, Nil. I'm sorry. I know it upsets you when I speak that way. 
But Nell is much stronger than I am. She could face any opponent, if not for me. So I suppose she is also one who is comfortable taking a stand. No. I have done as much fleeing as the rest of you. That's not true. I've never seen you run away from anything. I fled my responsibility. I should have stopped the royals of the Four Nations from taking their respective bracelets. You were only respecting their wishes. You even said that's what the Divine Dragon would want. I said that to mask my fear. I was afraid that my plea would be rejected, that I would lose our allies, and that I would be forced to fight them in Lethos Castle. I had no idea. So I too have fled when I should have made a stand. I could have stopped all of this. That knowledge prevented me from leaving the land of Lethos until our savior arrived. And because of that, I am perhaps to blame for the current state of the world. Absolutely not. You have done nothing wrong. I agree. Our unknown opponent should carry the blame, not you. I never would have thought you were running away too, Lady Nell. You always seem so strong. We may be a collection of weaklings, but we're still alive. That has to count for something. The Divine Dragon was strong. And the Divine Dragon died. No. All right, that's enough doom and gloom. We're making this Divine Dragon worry. Things are different now. Each of us has proven we can handle ourselves in battle. That is in no small part thanks to you. Your guidance has been a blessing. It's true. Yeah, you've been a big help. I am also grateful for your assistance, such as it has been thus far. Ha! I should have guessed a qualifier was coming. But I know you mean well, so thank you. And I'm glad to be of help. Well, there is still much to be done. Let us keep up our momentum. Where are we going next? To the Kingdom of Knowledge in the West. The Kingdom of Illusia. It's Nell, the pride of the brood. Not only can she transform, but she can also put emblems to sleep. Isn't that right, Nell? Must be rough for you, though, having that failure for a twin. Are you talking about Nell? Oh, is that this failure's name? I don't usually bother to remember them. Don't you worry about his weakness rubbing off on you? We could just get rid of him. Wouldn't be a problem. All he's doing is holding you back. Wouldn't you agree now? What do you say? <sighs> you must not be serious. What? I said surely you must not be serious. If you truly intended to kill my brother, I would have to. I would have to. All of this... my doing? What have I done? Called the weak. <sighs> Father, forgive me. I did not intend to. There is nothing to forgive. Please continue. I did not mean to interrupt the killing. I believe you will make a suitable heir. I... You. I told you Brodia would avoid conflict. What more do you need? And why did the guards let you in? I killed them. <coughs> Entrusting your safety to them was a grievous lapse in judgment. Now, I would like to know whether the attack on Lethos Castle was your doing. Answer. What are you talking about? An attack on Lethos? Which country would dare start hostilities? Firine? No. Illusia, surely. You truly seem to know nothing of the matter. So be it. I have no further use for you. Volchrist! <laughs> Volchrist! You monster! You filthy snake! Ugh! 
I don't understand. We gave you what you wanted. You had no reason to do this. In fact, I do have a reason, King Diamant. I would not ordinarily come for you by stealth, but I could not ignore this opportunity. Now, I must return before dawn. It would not do for the others to become suspicious. <sighs> King Alfred and Princess Saline hardly put up a fight either.